This illustration deals with countertops and workspaces uh, in accordance with NEC 210.52, C1 is in car, and C2. Uh, the purpose of change was to provide a new sentence. And this new sentence has been added to address the use of multi-outlet assemblies where 12 inches of multi-outlet assemblies containing two or more receptacles are installed in individual or continuous links. Now, uh, it shall be considered, this is big, shall be considered to be one receptacle outlet now. That, that is a big change uh, uh, in this, uh, not a change, really, it's a new sentence. Now, uh, let's look at the call-out to the left of the uh, receptacle, this GFCI protected there at the counter by the sink, and that head is 12 inches of multi-outlet assembly is considered one outlet, uh, 210.52C and 380.10 that deals with multi-outlet type assemblies. Now, secondly, uh, sections 210.8A6 as well as 406.4D as in dog 3 and D4 require GFCI protection in kitchens where receptacles serve countertop surfaces in accordance with 210.52B as in boy uh, 3. So uh, we kind of uh, picked that rule up. And then thirdly, a dishwasher or other specific appliance can be uh, and a supply or can be supplied by an individual branch circuit rated at 15 amps or a greater circuit breaker if uh, need be in accordance with 210.52b1 the exception 2 which is an exception into the general rule uh, is stated there now i would uh, like to review uh, the notes one and two and notice note one for more on multi-outlet assembly c220.14 a and 380.12 item number seven note two to the right here assembly shall not be cord and plug uh, connected uh, per 380.12 uh, c2 so they're talking about this assembly here, not these items plugged into it. And then notice I can cord and plug a bender, a mixer, a coffee pot. And notice I have more plug-ins here, but they're saying this is uh, considered one outlet in that 12 inches that we looked at there.